Luke Dubois made it no secret while he was in Winnipeg that he was not going to stay long term and he admits that he's anticipating a less than pleasant welcome from Jets fans on his return. I think you guys will think, think it's like booze, like B-O-O, -O, but I, I'm going to go with the UB. And you take a look at the return that the Jets got. Gabriel Velarde, Alex Ayafalo, and Rasmus Kapari. All three of those players are making very defined contributions to this club. Didn't know what to expect, honestly. Uh, you know, traded for the first time, so just going out there playing against your friends is definitely weird, you know, at this level. You know, just focus on, on winning that game and playing as hard as you can, really. Well, based on what happened and what transpired over the summer, there was bound to be some high bleeding up to this game tonight between the Winnipeg Jets and the Los Angeles Kings. Pierre-Luc Dubois heading back to Winnipeg. Do you think they take it personally the way he went out? So the three former Kings are starting. Little nod of the tip of the cap from Rick Bonus to get those three on the ice to start the game. Here, boys, let's do it. You know he's an amazing coach. So to, for him to do that was uh, special for us three. You know it says a lot about him and his character. grabbing his right knee and that is tough to see Gabriel Velarde and that is Blake Lazat who kind of went in watch that blue foot the good news is as he's going off the ice he's able to skate off under his own power and I believe he was able to walk albeit a little bit gingerly down the hallway toward the Jets dressing room so hopefully it's positive news on that front Poor Gabriel Velarde will not return tonight with a lower body injury. Was it stupid? You know, he's just a, he's a fantastic player. He's a guy that's super smart. He loves the game. Just want to hope he has a, has a safe recovery and um, comes back better than ever. Fetty takes it off the ski. And Sandberg's going to go after England. Fetty's back up to the sea. Sandberg answering. start but the Kings took hold of it in the second and never let go they win it five to one Gabriel Velarde uh, lower body be reevaluated in the morning any concern it could be long term based on the way it went down or it's good find out in the morning Gabriel Velarde will miss four to six weeks with a sprained MCL. No operation needed. Uh, he'll just get treated every day, but there's no operation, but he's out long term. Little Birdie just told us that LB is going to start tomorrow. Regardless if it was Vegas or not, that was the game we, we, he was going to play.
Jets head coach Rick Bonus is taking a leave of absence after his wife suffered a seizure and is currently in hospital undergoing further testing. The team says the medical incident occurred on Sunday night. And while Bonus is away from the team, associate coach Scott Arneal will serve as the interim head coach. Certainly um, big news this morning. Difficult when uh, you know, a member of uh, our family here goes through something like that. Everybody's, uh, you know, everybody's certainly feeling it. It's part family here, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's a big part of what we talk about all the time. And, you know, obviously it, it really hits everyone hard. Priority is family for Rick Bonus and by extension, the Winnipeg Jets. Hence the leave of absence. We don't know how long he's going to be away from this club. Trying to do our best here at the rink to take care of what we need to do for, for Bones. I mean, Fitz makes a great play from behind the net, right on my tape, so let's just put it in. I've uh, been waiting for it for a while and uh, you know just just relieve and happiness I guess. Yeah. I always try to cherish that game. It only comes around once once a year and you know we seem to have some pretty good success as well so <laughs> it's it's one we look forward to. For Lowry near side, they score. They've won three games in a row. Winnipeg beats Detroit four to one. It's all over. We love going back there. It's obviously where we grew up. Um, I have a ton of family there, friends. You know, be able to see them and just relax. It's it breaks up the normal, you know, road trip, go in and kind of the routine. It's something different. It's not a first for you, but. The, the rudder. Yeah, definitely. It's a lot of fun. I know it's probably my fair, my parents' favorite weekend. I mean, it's weird playing against them because I obviously wanted them to do well, but maybe not so much in those games. Uh, it's it's weird, like weird emotion. I think the most fun I have with them is he was stick handling around center ice and warm-ups and I was trying to hit his puck with my puck, but um, I didn't do it successfully, so. Hey, Coop, Gussie, let's go. Come on. Come on. Yep. Holy shot. Holy shot. Holy shot. Yeah. Nice Hi, boy, Laos. Lowry with a penalty shot. The left handed shot will pick it up. Wheels inside the zone under, under courts of booze. Moves in, shoots, score. Big start. Great. My boy Laos! Great play. My boy Lau! Oh boy. Oh, I love that. Five volt? Oh yeah. It's only where I know where to shoot. I had. I did the same thing on my penalty shot. Five volt. Yeah, but you came the other side, which is yeah. harder. I just like it because it's a hard shot to f up. <laughs> yeah, 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 but <laughs> I'm saying coming from this side. Yeah, he's got to push a little more. Well, it's just like he has to push this way, which elongates the angle. You're so smart, man. Back in the middle of the shot, they score. 
I don't know, he was having a good game. I didn't, uh, I didn't think I had much ammo to chirp him about anyway. And they obviously, uh, he, I mean, he, he always seems like he plays well against us. So uh, maybe next time I do need to try to get under his skin or something. Now Nikolai Ehlers has to score. He picks up some speed, picks up the puck, carves his way in, goes in, shoots, it's kicked away by Allen. And Montreal wins the hockey game tonight in the shootout. What do you think it's going to be like uh, facing Blake out there? All his history here, how the crowd has uh, supported him all the years. Yeah, it's going to be weird. Obviously, uh, you know, up until this season, he was the captain while I was always on the team, and he's been here since I've, you know, got drafted to this team. So basically, 10 years with him, and uh, it's going to be weird to, to see him on the other side. 11 years of my life with them and uh, you know, a lot of a lot of really fun memories. You know, it's, it definitely will be tough to keep the emotions in. Yeah, it's um, it's. Definitely strange, you know, um, coming to this room and um, just seeing everything. It's, uh, it, it's 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 a bit weird, but it's uh, a place that a lot of great memories and you know it was pretty special to, to, to me and in my family. So um, yeah, it's certainly the first game I looked for on the schedule and um, looking forward to to getting back out there. Well, he was the captain. He was an original 2.0 Jet. A homecoming tonight for Blake Wheeler as he returns to Winnipeg for the first time. The question was, what kind of reception would Wheeler get in his return to Manitoba? More than anything, just just grateful for the time spent here and the people and all the memories that have that we've made. <laughs> Yeah, it was different. I'm sure it was uh, pretty awkward for him as well. You know, he's such a good pro, though. It means a lot to him. I know he meant a lot to this organization. Thank you, Blake, for your passion and commitment to our city.